Hi everyone, welcome to another question solving videos for MRCS exam. Here the question, a 34 year old lady undergoes a thyroidectomy for Graves disease. Post operatively, she develops a tense hematoma in the neck. In which of the following fascia plane will it be contained? Uh, a 34 years old lady undergone thyroidectomy for Graves disease. Post operatively, she develops tense hematoma in the neck in which of the following fascia plane will it be contained so uh, first of all we have to uh, um, see the thyroid gland and the fascia which lies anterior to the uh, thyroid gland and uh, if we find this fascia then uh, the fascia plane hematoma contain we have the options options are gerotus fascia walder's fascia tritacal fascia Sipsion fascia and clavi pectoral fascia. They are gerotus fascia, walder fascia, pretracheal fascia, sipson fascia, and clavi pectoral fascia. We can see here, here we can see this is the thyroid gland, and uh, the uh, uh, this color, the structure, the green color structure, they are the different uh, deep fascia, uh, deep fascia in the neck, they are. Uh, encircle different part of the uh, neck and the named are uh, different here first of all this is the investing layer of the deep fascia this deep fascia um, it encircles whole of the muscles of the neck area so the investing layer of the deep fascia it encircles the whole of the deep fascia then pretracheal fascia here we can see the pretracheal fascia which lies the anterior part and posterior part of the thyroid gland and it encircles the whole of the thyroid gland so the pretracheal layer which uh, is part of the deep fascia it encircles the whole of the thyroid gland the third one is carotid sheet the carotid sheet it uh, covers the three important structure here we can see the internal jugular vein and artery and vagus nerve so internal jugular vein internal carotid artery and the internal carotid common carotid and the vagus nerve so the carotid sheet it uh, uh, contains uh, the three important structure then prevertebral fascia uh, this fascia it covers the whole vertebra and muscle attached to the cervical vertebra so these four layers these four layers of the fascia which derived from the deep fascia so deep fascia in the neck they are divided into different part and they are located in different part and they are divided into four groups they are investing layer of deep fascia which encircles the whole of the neck then pretracheal fascia uh, this fascia lies in front of trachea and it encircles the whole of the thyroid gland third on carotid sheet uh, it encircles the carotid vessels and vagus nerve and then free vertebral fascia in, and this fascia covers the uh, cervical vertebra and muscle attached to the cervical vertebra so here the pretracheal fascia which lies in front and behind the thyroid gland so here we can see the prevertebral fascia here which one layer lies in front of the vertebra then investing layer of the deep fascia in the cut section it only anterior part then pretracheal fascia we can see this is the pretracheal fascia and thyroid gland it covers all of the thyroid gland so our final answer is pretracheal fascia because the pretracheal fascia it covers whole of the thyroid gland and following surgery to the thyroid gland the uh, within the pretracheal fascia blood may be stored blood may be deposited and causes here hematoma and other fascia here the zero to fascia is uh, it is the fascia of the kidney walder fascia it is the fascia which lies uh, between the rectum and sacral bones and then sipson fascia it covers the apex of the lungs and clavi pectoral fascia the lies in the pectoral region so of our final answer pretracheal fascia thank you all